ko wairua te awa ko ngā te whatua te iwi ko Tawera Grey toku ingoa. Inoho. Thank you for each standing up and doing your mihi. It's not easy to stand up in front of a crowd and do that, so rawe. Um, interesting enough, when you stand up and do your mihi and you acknowledge your waka, that is the same waka that your tipuna travelled from Hawaii to Aotearoa in. Today we're going to explore that journey of your tipuna from Hawaii to Aotearoa and consider all the different skills and jobs that it took for that journey to be successful. Kapua. And when we think about our waka, our iwi and our hapu, that is what links you, that is what links us to our tupuna or to your ancestors. Who journeyed here over a thousand years ago from Hawaii to Aotearoa and what a journey that was. What I want you to do now is close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. I want you to think back to the time of your tupuna, to the time of your ancestors over a thousand years ago. Do you think your tupuna had careers? Yeah. What do we think some of those careers might have been? Making bait. Kapai? Making a boat or boat builders, what else? Hunting. Hunting, definitely, yes. Cooking, and we all love cooking. Looking after their families. Kapai, looking after their families, and when we think about our tupuna, it was all about that. Kapai, so when we think about those career pathways or those jobs, okay, what do you think some of the skills were needed uh, if we look at boat builder? What do you think some of the skills are that a boat builder might have had? Carpentry. Kapai, definitely, carpentry. What else? Maths. Maths, definitely. Each of these examples also show that your tipuna were innovators and creators, shakers and movers. It demonstrates that careers is nothing new to us as a people as Māori, but actually careers is a part of us as being Māori. And as we go through each of the activities today, you'll have a chance to complete your own career plan. Mm -hmm.